Good afternoon ladies it's me dr. C I'm coming to you today uh, just to go over some things about anxiety so welcome to unapologetically speaking with dr. C yeah finally it's here it's uh it's it's going it's getting up and going and I'm very proud of it so I just want to go over a couple of tips so if you see me keep looking over here I'm looking at my notes I just want to go over anxiety and panic attacks today and we're gonna go over it real it's gonna be short because I don't do long videos I do the longest is 10 minutes okay the longest is 10 minutes I don't like the really long videos I don't it kind of bore me excuse this white string hanging out but this is unapologetically speaking so I don't edit it, it is what it is what you see is what you get if you're gonna be a guest on unapologetically speaking which I have some guests that are coming I'll explain to them it's real it's raw it's ready it's the now it's unapologetically speaking there's no oops I, I, I should have said that no we get it in you can do it here unapologetically speaking with Dr. Candace C. Lane aka Dr. C. I like Dr. C better I know my name's kind of long and then a lot of people that I know named Candace we'll talk about that later but anyway so I want to come to you and I want to talk about five tips to relieve anxiety and panic attacks um, who's in here ever had or has anxiety or have had a panic attack let me raise my hand I can't see y'all can y'all see me I've had internal panic attacks yeah so if you go I'm gonna digress for a minute if you go see a therapist a coach a mentor a psychologist a psychiatrist whatever and they claim that there's nothing wrong with them and they never had any issues and they're all perfect and they sit in that chair Curtis bullshit everybody has issues including the fabulous Dr. C yes it's an experience to meet me but I have issues too so anyway let's get back to this so I just want to put that out there raise your hand if you had anxiety or have or have had panic attacks as I stated I have had internal panic attacks and some of the things that I have incorporated into my life to get rid of those things because again those that know me know I only teach talk about and share what I know and what I've been through girl this ain't textbook I don't do that uh, y'all want a textbook I can go get one I got several in this office but I don't No, that was just so I could get my credentials so y'all can listen that now I do real life so what I did some of the herbal remedies or, or just different just remedies that I did to get balance with the anxiety because it was taken over to where I was having panic attacks before I do speaking engagements before I teach certain classes I taught one class in San Bernardino I had such a bad panic attack I called my girlfriend sorry my daughter true story in the bathroom and I was I was crying I was like I can't do this she was like do what I can't teach them I can't go out there I can't do this she was like um you got to get it together you got to breathe you got to do the techniques that you teach these women but you're here and I'm not taking you by the way she was my driver it was a mess but I got through it within five seconds and it was beautiful and now that's like a home to me I love being there and it's such amazing place and those women are so amazing it's the favorite this is one of my favorite places that I love to speak and teach It's San Bernardino California I know right but yeah love it those people oh those women are amazing anyway another story so some of the things that I changed in my life to eliminate okay I want to put that out there the disclaimer eliminate or release or lessen you know to get rid of anxiety mine is eliminate I don't have panic attacks anymore but the some of these remedies can help you and they can lessen and release some of the daily stress one I changed my diet I'm vegetarian I've been for years however I was a girl big mama vegetarian just because it wasn't meat I was still like give me like 20 pounds of salad and rice and all types of stuff mm -mm, you can't do that and I was doing that it was kind of unhealthy but still vegetarian now I'm back on track so eating healthy is one of the things that I incorporated in my life that gave me that oh I feel good feeling another thing was psychotherapy and that means talking to someone going to see someone whether it be a therapist hey counselor hey 
mentor, a coach, whatever you want to call, psychologist, whatever, someone, or a close friend or family member, or just a bomb support system, someone that you can rely on, and someone that you can talk and speak freely to, someone that won't judge. You need a safe place. So that's another thing that I did. And then exercise, okay? I went out and I exercise now. I exercise three to four times a week, and I get it in. I, and I'm, I'm a mean exercise person. Okay, yeah, I am. I go to an amazing gym. I'm not going to get them a shout out on this video. I should. But I go to an amazing gym. It's new. It's really nice. And no one bothers me. I, I can't have people bother me. Don't come up. Don't ask me nothing. I don't care if I'm using a machine wrong. My business. Okay. I want to just do me. I'm on a treadmill. I'm getting it in. And then I go lift weights. And I do my thing. Listen to my music or my motivation. A lot of times I listen to some of my mentors. Got a lot of mentors. So I'm listening to them. And I'm getting it in. Don't talk to me. Mm -mm. Can't nobody walk up to me in the gym and ask me nothing. Don't even ask me the time. Look at the clock that's on the wall. I got to get it in and get out. And I do three to four times a week. If you cannot, start with maybe two. That would be great. I don't go over an hour. Girl, don't take all day to do nothing. I tell you, this is but a short video. I do between 35 and 45 minutes. I'll be watching too. Like, wait a minute, let me go. Because I know I'm coming back, you know, the previous day the next day so that's uh so those three uh healthy eating i started with healthy diet uh speaking with someone type some type of talk therapy or a mentor someone that you can confide in exercise and then a support group i have an amazing support system i wish i can give them a shout out i have three people mm. I really wish I can get them a shout out right now. But you know how y'all want to put people business out there? They may not want y'all to know. But it's an amazing group of people. And two of them are men. And one woman. I got a bomb support system that got my back. And that's what I use for that part. For panic attacks. When we have panic attacks, I want to go over some of the things that what can happen to your body or how you may feel. How I felt, I had chest pains. I was shaking like a leaf. So chest pains, a lot of shaking. I felt disconnected from myself, uh, especially the last panic attack I had. That was in the shower. That wasn't in San Bernardino when I was getting ready to talk. The one was in the shower. I was getting ready for an event that I was putting on for myself, and I had a very bad panic attack. So that is one as well. And I was just really overwhelmed, and I felt sick. So how I did, I got grounded, which I will speak about in the next video when I come on a grounding exercise that grounding has been out there I did not create it but I kind of put my own spin on it and it helped a lot of my clients as well anxiety and panic attacks are different with a panic attack you have the chest pain you I was shaking and trembling and I felt disconnected from myself and I felt physically sick like I wanted to throw up a butterflies in your stomach not the butterflies when you know your husband or your man call mm -mm, butterflies as in oh, yeah, like that. And anxiety attack, those symptoms are different. An increased heart rate, it was, it was on 10 when it needed to be a 2. Shortness of breath, that is number 2. I had disturbed sleep. I couldn't sleep. And I'm a sleeper. I don't know whoever in this video, if y'all know Dr. C, I get my rest on. But when I have anxiety, insomnia taps me on the shoulder and say, you, you looking for me? And it show up and it's there. So that's uh, four for that. Um, four. Then muscle tension. I had aches all in my neck, uh, my back, your jaw. You have aches and pains. And anxiety can bring that on as well where your body can just ache. And I was very irritable. That is number four. Five. I was very irritable. I was so irritable. You call my name, Dr. C. What? My kids, Mama, what? Y'all still here? I mean, it was just a mess. Everything was just what? I was just kind of mean. Yeah. I had what we're going to talk about in another video. I named it the bitch effect. I kind of had that with that anxiety. So those are the symptoms. It's the difference between panic and anxiety. Panic, chest pains, for me. This is for me. And maybe you can relate. I had chest pain, shaking, discomfort from self, disconnect, I'm sorry, and I felt physically sick. With anxiety, increased heart rate, shortness of breath, I couldn't sleep, muscle tension, aches everywhere, and I was irritable, angry, just bad attitude. 
that's anxiety. Now, let's talk about what can cause these things. Okay, sometimes nothing. It could be a chemical imbalance with self. Something I deal a lot with the brain. I love that. That is my go-to, but a lot of people don't want to talk about it. But if you do, y'all know. Let me know. It could be something that is unwired, and it can cause that. We have all these wires in the brain, and one can just, like this right here, snap off. And what's going on? And it can trigger something. That's just my definition of it. I can go in more depth later. However, just no cause. It could be a chemical imbalance or something wrong. You know, a malfunction with internal. Also, it can be a family history of different anxieties and panic attacks. The family history of that. It could have started when you were a child. Uh, something, it is a behavior, I'm sorry, an emotion that you grew up you had those from a child, now you have them as an adult woman or male. It can come from that. It can come from, like I said, at uh, normal brain. It can come from substance abuse, uh, whatever, from drugs to drinking, a lot of it excessive. It can bring on anxiety and panic attacks. Major life stressors, which we all know. Anybody tell you they don't have major life stressors, get out their damn way because they're a liar and the devil is in them, honey. Go, <clears throat> run. We all do. So it can come from that as well. Panic attacks and stress. Life stressors. Also poor diet. Now if you're sitting up eating Cheetos and Diet Pepsi, first of all, I don't get that. Let's talk about that. Let me digress. Who the hell is drinking Diet Pepsi and Cheetos? You may as well get to regular Pepsi. I'm just saying. If you're going to eat a whole bag of damn Cheetos. I had to digress on that because I always wanted to ask someone that. I don't do either of them, but I always wanted to ask. You know. Poor diet. If it's a poor, if you have a poor diet, I am a firm believer to a certain extent. Actually, I'm a firm believer. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. This is unapologetically speaking. Girl, you are what you eat. You know, you can't be sitting up eating Cheetos all day and drinking. I don't know if it's diet rum and coke. I don't know Hennessy. I don't know what you're drinking. I don't know beer and expect to have a flat stomach. I don't know. Poor diet. What you put in your body comes out. Not just your mouth, because your behavior and our behavior, we speak how we feel. And that's how behavior comes. That's another video as well. So what you put in your mouth, please be mindful that it will come out. It will come out in your attitude, your behavior, your emotions, your feelings. And it's going to come out. Aches and pains, and it's going to come out uh, of your pores. Girl, you start smelling like Cheetos when you walk past. You'll be like, you smell like snacks. There you go. So, poor diet. Also, the last one, lack of vitamin D and B. That is very important. And let me tell you something about D. It's free. Stand in the sun just a little bit. I'm not telling everybody to stand out there because you can end up with other issues if you're out there too long. So, I'm not saying that, like sunburn, some damage, or different type of things that you can get. But, sun, natural vitamin D. I think that would be good as well. That's a lot of us that has that have lack of vitamin D. We have we get we become irritable. Our uh, our skin, our hair, your nails, everything is damaged from that lack of it. We need vitamin D and B. That's imperative that we have that. And like I said, the sun can give you free glorious vitamin D. Or you could just go to CVS and buy some over the counter. Girl, they got it in gummies now, I think. Because, yeah, I think they have it in gummies. That's something to think about. So, I just wanted to plug with that plug in there. I just wanted to go over a couple of tips that I said in the beginning of what you can do, and that was eat healthy, talk to someone, some type of therapy, exercise, and an amazing support system. Then I went over the difference between panic attack and anxiety attack. Panic attack, chest pains, shaking, feeling discomfort, or overwhelmed. It's others as well, but I don't do information overload. Anxiety attack is increased heart rate, shortness of breath, disturbed sleep, muscle tension where you need to just relax. It's just aches and pains all over or in several or specific places. And angry. You're irritable. Not most are angry, but irritable. Agitated. That brings it on. Those are the difference between panic and anxiety attacks. Just little snippets of it I want to give you. Again, I don't do information overload. Then I went over some causes. But the number one cause 
I believe, I'm sorry, it's two, family and then major life stressors. Family will cause you to break down. That is another video that we would touch base on here and apologetically speaking, but sometimes you got to tell family, I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to see you when I get me together. You got to go get equipped and get your armor on so you can deal with family because sometimes they bring their shit over to you and then you start carrying it. You carrying your bag, their bag, their kids bag, the baby daddy's bag, everybody bag. We can't do that. You have trying to help your sister. You're trying to help your cousin and the mama. It's too much. Sometimes you got to get you together in order to be better for yourself and others. So that is unapologetically speaking. So I want all you ladies to put your mask on first. That way you'll be able to get the oxygen you need so you can be able to help others when you can. So Thank you for tuning in. This is Dr. C, unapologetically speaking.